In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a batch trigger in Relay.app. And batch triggers are really useful when you have a group of items and you want to run the same workflow for each item. Let me show you how to, how to make one. So in the add trigger menu, you're going to go down to start runs in batches. And there's two ways to do this. One is you can do it as a manual trigger, as a one-off, like if you have a spreadsheet of contacts and you want to email all of them once, or you can do it on a recurring schedule if you want to process a batch of items repeatedly. And in the use case I'm going to demo right now, I'm going to show what it would look like to do a daily summary of all open support issues. So I'm going to select recurring schedule. Then I'm going to select the app I want to use, which in this case is linear, which is our bug tracker. I'm going to select my team. And I don't want to trigger this for every single issue every single day. I want to only look for issues that match certain filters, where in my case, I want to look for label has one of uh, this is like our, our regular support label. And I also want to check that status is to do. Um, because I want to only send out notifications for the items that haven't been done that done yet. And you can see here that we have a few open um, support issues to do that would trigger this batch folder, th this batch trigger, excuse me. I want this to run every day at 8 a.m. PST, but I could set that to any schedule I want, like if you want to run it weekly on Friday, for example. Then once you have that batch trigger, you can uh, specify what automated step you want to do for each item. And in this case, I want to send an email and I want to send an email to the assignee of this particular issue. And I want to say, you need to do your task. Um, and then here's the task. And again, I can reference the information from the issue, like the title and the URL. And so now that I have this batch trigger configured, as soon as I turn it on, every Friday at 8 a.m., it's going to look for all of the items that have this regular support label and status to do, and it sends an email to, to, to the assignee of each of those issues. So if you ever want to work with a bulk list of spreadsheet items or emails or issues, batch triggers are the best way to do it.